Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my January favorites. I'm really excited to share a bunch of really exciting and some new products that I am obsessed with, so let's get right into it. This is the Tarte Knockout Tingling Treatment formulated to exfoliate, balance, minimize appearance of pores. It's a 10% acid complex and it's a powerful pH rebalancing blend of salicylic and lactic acids to help renew and resurface the appearance of skin. This is essentially the texture of water. You put it on a cotton pad, swipe it across your decollete, and then move up your neck up to your face avoiding the eye area it's called tingling treatment because since it's an acid exfoliator it is going to tingle on the skin depending on how sensitive your skin is for me it definitely does tingle it tingled more when I first started using it but within 30 seconds to a minute I don't feel any sensation on my skin the tingling can sometimes feel a little bit like burning and if you have very sensitive skin it's totally normal what's not normal is if that tingling burning sensation increases increases over time or doesn't go away within five to ten minutes or so. Whatever you put on top of it, try to make it as natural and basic of a moisturizer as possible. I like to use facial oils. I had been having a lot of issues with congestion and just random dry patches all over my skin. Completely gone now, knock on wood, because we want to make sure they stay gone. And also, I have crazy pores, like here and then down my nose and then around my chin. My pores right here especially have shrunk significantly enough that I can notice and I am shook. I use this every other night or every two nights. So far I am absolutely in love. I have here the Body Hero Duo from Glossier. The daily oil wash is an oil that when you mix it with water it actually does foam and froth up. It feels like you have moisturized your skin before you actually even put lotion on. My skin just looks and feels more nourished and a little bit brighter. It smells like a spa in like Bali or Thailand or somewhere in like Asia because there are these tube rose jasmine type of scents, but then there's also more spa-y essences. The Daily Perfecting Cream is so incredibly hydrating and gives your skin the most beautiful, natural, radiant glow. This actually, fun fact, was used on Beyonce for the Grammy, so... I'm just trying to get my Beyonce on over here. I kind of feel like there is some kind of natural illuminator in here. It is done super, super naturally and subtly. The cream is really, really thick and you just need the tiniest bit, but it's so emollient and I feel like it has so many natural oils in it that it spreads really nicely and really smooths the texture of your skin. So this one has cream, this one doesn't. And look at just how different both my hands look. This is the Volition Beauty Helix AM PM Eye Gel. It improves appearance of firmness, fine lines, and wrinkles. Priming effect for ideal makeup application. Improved moisture levels 67.8% after 24 hours, 78.8% after four weeks. This essentially is powered by escargot mucin. So don't get freaked out. That is snail derived mucin, but no snails were harmed in the making of this eye gel. This mucin is actually what creates the Helix Complex, which is rich in allantoin, collagen, and elastin for long-term anti-aging benefits. It immediately improves hydration, deep puffs, smooth skin for flawless makeup application. Volition Beauty is completely cruelty-free, and what's cool about them is they're actually user-generated, so you can give your feedback and they create products with others based off of that feedback. This was created with a celebrity makeup artist, and this really does prime your eyes and prolongs the wear of your makeup. It's a little bit of a thicker gel, like if I hold it upside down, it's not glooping out. So it feels really lightweight and smoothing on the skin, but my eyes genuinely feel so hydrated, so soft, and plump. Like I feel like the fine lines I have under my eyes are a little bit diminished when I wear this. Compared to a lot of other skincare brands, this is super affordable and so incredibly effective. Everybody needs to go buy this, I'm obsessed. This is the Grande Primer from Grande Cosmetics and it is a lash primer fortified with lash plumping peptides. If you have seen any of my other videos, you know that Lancome Sils Booster XL is my ride or die lash primer. This lash primer is giving Lancome a little bit of a run for its money. It's going to help nourish your lashes, protect them from any extra damage. It also will over time help improve the appearance of your lashes. It's also a smudge proof water based form 
formula, so it's safe to use on people who have irritable eyes, but also people who have eyelash extensions. And it has these lengthening fibers that don't flake. They really add so much length to your lashes. I apply it just like I am mascara, and it's white, so you can see it building. And then you put your mascara on, and your lashes literally look like strip lashes almost. They are so much longer. It adds thickness. It adds volume. This gives you that wispy effect, but it's a lot more like defined and polished almost. And it's almost like lifting and curling your lashes too. Whereas the Lancome one, it's more of a straighter, wispier kind of PC length. I don't know if I'm explaining this properly, but basically you need to try this. If you have amazing lashes and if you have terrible lashes. You guys all need to try this. This is the Fresh Fresh Face Instant Glow Luminizer with Meadow Foam Seed Oil. I have mine in the shade Sunset. It comes in two different shades. It's almost like an illuminating face lotion. I wish it would come in a larger bottle because I feel like I haven't had this for that long and I'm like almost running out, which is annoying. So it's a pinky gold peachy illuminator. That tone gives you so much dimension, but also such a natural glow and color to the skin almost and then when you blend it in it is such a beautiful luminosity and it's really hydrating which is another thing that I love so that is the finish I have it on now underneath my makeup I still wear it underneath makeup but it just looks so much more stunning when you wear it on bare skin or just with a little bit of concealer and powder. They have a lighter shade, which is more of a pearly silver shade. So if you have fair skin, that's gonna be great. But for anyone with my skin tone deeper, this is going to be the shade to go with. Because of that peachy, pinky, yellow, gold tone to it, it actually naturally color corrects. So any excess redness or discoloration, it's going to just cancel some of it. And because of the illuminator in it, it's actually going going to almost blur and kind of reflect light off of any issues you may have on your skin so it in turn reduces the appearance of hyperpigmentation, redness, and all those other things because of that glow. Another illuminator that I have that is way more expensive but I'm so obsessed with it is the By Terry Cellular Rose Brightening CC Serum. I have mine in the shade 3 Apricot Glow. It's a liquid illuminator CC based primer serum type of thing so you can use this on bare skin you can also use this underneath makeup and it has skincare infused in it so this comes in like I want to say four or five colors I went with apricot glow because of the yellow tones so it's a yellow base with gold micro shimmer but it also has flecks of like peachy and pinky micro shimmer it's so so subtle though the yellow tones in this really help to cancel out the redness in my skin. I naturally have yellow in my skin, so it just immediately evens out my skin without the use of makeup. It comes with a pump, and I literally will use one pump and it feels so light and hydrating. This smells like fresh cut roses, which is why I love it so it doesn't make me feel like sick or anything. It just gives you such a nice glow and radiance and evens out your skin so you in turn, if you're wearing makeup over it, need less makeup. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Dim Light. Was obsessed with these when they first came out and then stopped using them and then I'm using them again and I'm obsessed with them again. What the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders are are finishing powders powders or highlighters depending on your skin tone where they mimic different types of light on your skin. Dim light is supposed to mimic your skin in dimmer light so it's a really soft glow. Dim light is a beige but it has a really beautiful subtle glow. So it is the face powder that I have on my skin right now. If you have drier skin or if you just love the look of dewy skin and you want to set your makeup with powder this is the powder for you because it's going to maintain that luminosity and glow. I use this on so many different skin tones. If you are super, super fair, this might be a little too pigmented on you. I don't have flashback and it's so creamy and like silky, silky soft. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold. It's her skin gilding highlighter and it is a gel powder type of gold highlighter. This 
highlighter is such a pretty unique shade of gold because it looks super yellow gold in the packaging but then on the skin once you've blended it in it gives you the most radiant flash of illumination I have it on a little bit right now let's just amp it up it does not emphasize skin texture it does not emphasize any issues when you have I just completely lost my train of thought because I just put that on like that you can really pack it on and it will not look super powdery or cakey or like you have too much highlighter on the skin it just melts right into the skin the one thing i will say is that this is like dumb expensive for the amount of product you're getting in here it's a little expensive but i love it i use it all the time you need a little bit to go a really long way so this is gonna last you a long time and because it's a gel powder formula when you are using it it doesn't kick up a lot of powder so you're not wasting product by just using it i have been using this eyeshadow palette on a regular basis for pretty much all of December and January. It's the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Eyeshadow Palette and it's amazing. I loved her first rose gold palette but I feel like this one is almost better. You get a mirror on this side of the palette and then these are the shades. All these shades totally up my alley. You get a good variety of lighter shades, deeper shades. There is not a black in here so if you are someone who loves black eyeshadow you are missing that. I don't wear black eyeshadow all the time so not a big loss for me, but I do use every single eyeshadow in this entire palette. There are a good mix of mattes, shimmers, metallics, duochromes. There's this one glitter top coat. I don't know how they did it, but it doesn't transfer everywhere and you can just pat it onto your lids. The matte shades are shades that I use actually every single time I use eyeshadow. I will pair this with any other eyeshadow or palette that I'm using because these matte shades are just shades that I feel are so flattering. They're so easy to work with. My favorites are Oud, Amethyst, and Saffron. Amethyst I put into like every crease color which is crazy because it looks like a super neon like Barney purple but it just enhances any reds pinks this is an eyeshadow palette that I don't even have to think about I can just dip my brushes into things and put it on my eyes and I know it'll look good I mean look how pigmented it is I literally did like one swirl in each of these four shades and it is so so pigmented even though in the swatch the matte shade looks like it's patchy the matte shades blend so effortlessly everyone needs to go at least try this palette out if you can in stores and if not just purchase it because you will not regret it. This is the Clinique Pep Start Pout Perfecting Balm in the shade Guava. This is essentially a tinted lip balm from Clinique. This has just been my go-to in a pinch no makeup lip color. So when I'm traveling on the go, this is what's going into my bag. I use it as a lip balm. I use it underneath other products and I really love this Guava shade because it makes your lips just look really like juicy this is like the perfect my lips but better shade and on days when i'm not wearing any makeup it doesn't look like it's too much it is really hydrating on the lips it actually lasts a long time and i almost feel like that pink when it wears off settles into a really light stain so even after the bomb soaks in you still have a color on your lips this comes in a bunch of different colors and just a clear but the guava shade has just been my go-to i have to mention the new bounce of dragon lee lashes i've loved these for a really long time but in january they definitely made a comeback they are what i have on my eyeballs right now these lashes are like everything i love in a lash they have length they have drama they have volume they have thickness they look super wispy and fluttery while still being really intense and dramatic they look good with a little bit of makeup on they look good with a dramatic eye look too they're more of a winged shape so they are shorter on the inner part and longer on the outer part and they also get a little thicker on the outside so they give you that almond eye effect but because of the length they also really open up the eyes if this is too dramatic they also come in a baby little dragonly mini version which is the similar style but just a little bit shorter and more wearable they just make any eye look, any makeup look just complete. This here is the Bio Ionic Curling Iron. I am completely in love with it. The reason why is the technology that goes into it is so scientific. It has all your technically good for your hair 
heat styling items like the good metals and ions and all that good stuff but it also has this patented technology where it uses volcanic minerals in the iron that when you touch your hair to the iron it actually bursts water molecules into smaller particles and then re-infuses them back in the cuticle so it's essentially rehydrating your hair when you're using your hot tool which I thought was crazy and not real until I tried this and it really really works I did not today because I left this in my to film pile because I knew I wanted to talk about it and completely forgot it was there but when I do use this my hair is so soft so smooth it gives me so much volume and also I feel like my curls tend to hold better and longer for more days whenever I use this other curling irons would kind of fry the ends my hair feels so soft the end is actually heat resistant so when you're curling your hair you can hold on to it and the stand for it is a built-in stand so you don't need to worry about lowering or raising a clip that could possibly burn you it's a really long swivel cord it's actually dual voltage which is awesome it's so lightweight you can use the clip you can use it just as a wand it doesn't leave a ridge where the clip is it's a little expensive but guys it's so worth it and honestly it's the hair on your head you should do what you need to do just like your skincare to make sure that you're preserving it and especially if you color your hair it's worth investing in things that are going to protect your hair as much as possible so that you can still have fun and color it and do crazy things without too many repercussions. This t-shirt I am absolutely obsessed with. It's from Nike and it says the force is and then on the back it says female. It's such a cool shirt. It's understated but it just like makes the statement. These letters are kind of in like a velvety texture. So to me this is something that I would a thousand percent wear with like jeans out and dress up. I'm really going to order like a backup because I don't know if this is going to be a permanent thing. It's a little more stylized than a lot of other like athletic shirts. And Nike actually did an entire The Forces Female collection, which is online right now. So if you are interested, go pick that stuff up. My last favorite I have to share with you guys is actually from the same collection. And it is these shoes. Oh my god. I love them. Well, I'm going to put both of them down. I have big feet so having both of them in like frame is basically like the size of my body so these are air force ones and they're this beautiful like raspberry plummy mauve shade and the sole of them is like a light lavender almost here if you guys can see it actually says the force is female the force is female just over and over and it goes around the front of the shoe and it goes around the back these look amazing on the feet so I wear these with like jeans and athletic apparel they're really light too they're not your average um, Air Force ones and the sneakers come in three different variations and each one says the force is female in different ways and just styled out differently if you're someone who loves the look of those types of sneakers but you feel like you can't find one that really works for you those are a great pair that's a wrap on my January favorites I hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a comment down below for me though and let me know what you've been loving recently and also if there are any products that you feel like I should check out but until my next video thank you guys as always so much for tuning in and I'll catch you guys soon bye